Right, so this video shows you essentially how to troubleshoot or repair the error fault code E118 displayed on the synoptic screen of your boiler. The icon E denotes an error and the spanner sign that you see there um, denotes that you know, you'd have to um, look into or troubleshoot the um, error. Suffice to say, in need of service repair. So we've just pretty much talked about the problem definition um, and what's the root cause. Uh, the error fault code E118 is, is mainly as a result of low boiler water pressure. There are a myriad or a host of reasons why this could happen, but the most probable variables with the highest propensity could be leaks from your radiator. It could also be radiator bleeds, you know, you're trying to get out of the system. It could be that you've also drained the system and you need to, you know, probably refill after after a flush. So it's best to carry out the troubleshooting steps of the E118 fix and um, when your boiler is, is not hot. And why is this? So let's think about what we're doing. Um, you know, fluids, gases or liquids, um, when heated, expand and as a result become less dense. Um, so... And any object that or substance that is less dense than a fluid will float in that fluid. So hot water and rises in cooler or colder water. And that's one of the reasons why you have your expansion and vent, um, you know, pipes in um, a system or um, a gravity fed system and tank. So if you top up the filling loop in your boiler and when it, it is hot, you know, subsequently um, the pressure will look like it's dropped and you, you don't want that, do you? And here you can see the current pressure at 0.5. We want to get the pressure up to um, 1 bar or 1.5 nominal. That should be ideal for the boiler. If you accidentally get it above 1 or 1.5, um, not to worry as um, um, the boiler water pressure drops you know, over a protracted period of time. So best practice would be to allow the water pressure in gradually so that it doesn't get past the mark that you've set or the target. So in order to implement the solution, we need to come underneath the boiler. Um, here we've got like a filling loop and we've got two blue valves. And we ignore the black valves, um, the gas valves and behind. Then black valves are for your gas engineer. So we're only gonna work with them um, two blue valves. So the first blue valve allows water into the main um, central heating system and by locking off the valve, whilst the second valve um, allows water to be locked into the system and uh, enables it to maintain um, good pressure. So basically we use the second valve to, to top up the, the low boiler water pressure. So we're going to top up the loop or refill the loop by opening both blue valves anticlockwise. So I'd open the first one um, anticlockwise. And I do the same thing for the second, but gradually for the second and not, you know, at full um, blast or full throttle, just gradually so that the needle can increment gradually as opposed to the needle just shooting up, shooting up the, the spectrum of the, of the gauge. Suffice to say, we're not looking for a quantum leap, or a sudden increase or an abrupt change. We're looking for a gradual um, increment of the needle. So as soon as it shoots past the one bar, get ready to, to close out the, the pressure um, from the blue valve. And as soon as it gets to 1.5, um, you shut off both valves, you lock them in. So lock up the first valve and also lock up the um, second valve um, clockwise. And so if you make your observation, you find out that the, as soon as the needle gets to, to 1.5, um, I would go back to the, um, to the filling loop to, to lock out the then blue valves. And here, you can see a somewhat steady increase um, in the needle. It's moving towards the one bar position, um, subsequently moved to the 1.5 one, 1 bar position. And that's what we want. Um, it indicates that you know, the, 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 the filling loop is getting topped up, or the boiler is getting topped up, and we're not going to be um, having the low boiler water and pressure issue. So it's gone past 1.5. I need to go back to the filling loop now to, to lock, lock out them blue valves. And here you can see that I'm flicking them two blue valves in the clockwise orientational direction. And that stops the, the needle from um, incrementing or ascending incrementally. If you've got a different model um, of boiler and you're underneath the, the boiler or the loop, you've got only the yellow and the green, um, just flick down only the green um, um, valve 
just in the same, just repeat the process steps, just flick the, down the green um, valve in a clockwise direction to allow um, the, the boiler to top up. And once it gets to the 1.5, um, you lock it out and by flicking it in the um, anti-clockwise orientation. And that's about it really. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like and share if you found the information useful and hopefully catch up with you soon. Goodbye.